Okay, so here we're looking at the scientific notation practice module on Khan Academy. And you're going to be given numbers in standard form like this and asked to be written and asked to write them in scientific notation. So here, what would we get? Well, we get 5.077. That first number has to have an absolute value between 1 and 10. And then, because I've taken this number and made it so large, it was this tiny decimal, and I made it 5.077, I have to balance that back out. By dividing by 10 so many times, so I move my decimal from between the 5 and the 0 back to where it began. So that's 1, 2, three, four places, so it's negative four. Again, that just means if I if I rework this number as 5.077, in order to get an equivalent, right, I have to divide by 10 four times, one, two, three, four, to get it back here. And then it's balanced, right? And that's how all of these pretty much work. This one would be what? Well, I notice I have to make the first number have an absolute value between 1 and 10. The only place I can do that is to put a decimal between this 6 and 5 right here. So I get 6.554. And then I've taken this enormous number and made it really tiny, right? 65 billion down to 6.554. So to keep it equivalent, I have to multiply by 10 enough to balance these two statements, right? So that means essentially I've, I've moved the decimal from here at the end of 65 billion, all the way over. That's three, six, nine, ten places. I made it 10 to the 10 times smaller. So to balance that out, I have to multiply it by 10 to the 10, right, and keep it equal. And that's how these kind of work. Let's look at a little bit of why that makes sense here. So in, this is one example. They have 2.119 times 10 to the 11th. So here you're starting in scientific notation. So to get a gist of what's happening, when you multiply by 10 to the 11th, you're multiplying by 10 11 times. And every time you take 2.119, right, and multiply it by 10, your decimal moves once to the right. So if I multiply it by 10 just once, that would equal 21.19. If I multiply 2.119 times 10 squared, or two tens, I get 211.9. So there, in the first case, if I multiply by 10 once, my decimal goes from there to there. And here it moves twice, right? Two powers of 10. So in this case, when I multiply by 10 to the 11th power times 2.119, my decimal is going to move 11 times. And that's easy to count because what's going to happen is, right, my decimal will move past these three digits here. It has to move 11 in total. So it has eight more to go, or eight more zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's like three hops plus eight hops equals 11 in total, right? The decimal will move 11 spaces to the right. So you can quickly count the zeros in that way. In this example, you're given a decimal in standard form, 0.7427. So I want to rewrite this so that the first factor has an absolute value between 1 and 10. The only place I can do that is right here, after the 7, because then this number becomes 7.427. But this number is 10 times larger than it was originally. So to keep it balanced, I have to divide by 10. And the way you do that is to multiply by 10 to the negative 1. Right? So there's all this happening. And, and some of the other examples, like if you, again, if you have a number like, let's say, 12,300,000, and you're asked to write this in scientific notation, what we were saying earlier is that you have to move your decimal from where it is, and it's right here, at the end of the number, even if they don't write it, to a location that makes this number have a value, an absolute value, between 1 and 10. It can equal 1, but not 10. And the only place to do that is to move the decimal here after this 1, because then the number becomes 1.23, and that has an absolute value between 1 and 10. But the thing is, you're not changing the value of the number, so you multiply by 10 to the eighth, because... If you think about what just happened, you moved your decimal from here, right, it's three, six, seven places to the left, right? So this is uh, this should be seven. Sorry. So this you moved seven places to the left, making this number that many times smaller. You divided by ten essentially seven times, because every time you move a decimal to the to the left, you divide by ten. So do it seven times. You divide it by ten seven times. To balance that out, you multiply by ten seven times, or 10 to the seventh. So you're trying to kind of build that intuition here in this, in this exercise. Thanks.